My name is Sławo Szuznański and I'm from Poland. It's an interesting question. I think space was very close to my heart from when I was a little kid. I was born the 12th of April. That is an international day of the human space flight and the anniversary, uh, anniversary of when Gagarin was in space. So for my birthday every single year, my mom was wishing me happy cosmonaut day back in Poland. So I think it was very close to, to, to my heart and I knew I would like to build my career in this domain. That's why I have chosen my PhD in building space systems. And then I continued and built my profile, hoping that I would be able to apply to ESA. I thought about uh, the astronaut program already in 2008. On the other hand, I was too young. As well, Poland was not a full member state back then, so I was not eligible to apply. And it's been a long couple of years, 13, 14 years for, until the next election. And uh, when it came up, I knew I was, uh, I was going to apply and try my chances. Okay, so I grew up in Poland, in Łódź, um, and I was born there and until I started studying. And I started studying in the Technical University of Łódź uh, as an in studies for engineering, telecommunications and uh, electronics. And then I, during my studies I moved to to France to do my diploma. I had a chance to, to do a double diploma in between the French and the Polish school. Me personally, I'm always a very active person and sports was very, very close to my life. Um, in general, when I was growing up uh, as a teenager, I was in the sailing national team of Poland and participating in Polish regatta mostly as well as internationally which I still continue. Um, in Geneva, we have a big lake where I currently live. I teach sailing. I participate in different regattas as well. So this is one part of, uh, of my sports life. And the second part is, it's, has always been the mountains. So going to high mountains, climbing, hiking, and reaching the peaks in Europe or outside, which was always uh, interesting for me to explore. So, I uh, am still currently at CERN. CERN is a European organization for nuclear research. What we do, we have particle accelerators and we are a, a research lab in physics, in particle physics. We run big accelerators and my part at CERN, let's say I have two main roles. One role is I build systems that control our infrastructure. And my second role is I operate these accelerators as, for example, the, the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, uh, on a daily basis, 24-7, to deliver physics to different institutes and physicists uh, all across the world. So I, I was working in the French industry doing my PhD, was always very close to space applications, and then, after finishing my PhD, I moved to CERN on a postdoctoral position. So since the interviews, I was, I was waiting for, for the news and as for each of the stages. And one day the Director General, Josef Ashbacher, called me on my phone and invited me to be one of the uh, next uh, astronaut poll, reserve or career astronaut. So that was extremely exciting. I think it's been exciting ten, last 10 years already with the, this massive push and developing of uh, technology in space, mostly on low, low Earth orbit. And now I think these are very exciting times coming because knowing the Artemis project and putting back people on the moon that is, that is coming in the next uh, five to 10 years, this is extremely exciting. So going towards the moon and having again the moon landing and potentially a permanent presence of humans bio Leo, it's something that um, was done before. On the other hand, now we have these big ambitions to have this per per permanent presence. Being able to go beyond the moon, it's uh, for the moment just um, in the face of dreams. But on the other hand, I think we are explorers. We go towards the moon and then potentially beyond. So let's see what the future brings. 
So as, as I said, I am an explorer. I like going to the mountains and I like exploring uh, different peaks and I have this aptitude for difficult conditions and definitely going beyond low, low Earth orbit, it speaks to my core values and what I would like to do. So first of all, um, build knowledge and do what you like doing. When you follow your dreams and you're passionate about something, it's you do not see the time flying by and you build this knowledge and you move forward extremely fast. So just do it, invest in your dreams, build knowledge and don't be afraid of realizing your dreams.